Hey guys, Rick from Rick's Flashlight Reviews on here. Before I get started, I want to say a big thank you to Next Torch for sending me the, their flashlight and the two accessories for me to do a review on for them and for you guys as well. This flashlight is a $115 flashlight and it's $97 without the battery. So $115 with the battery. All right, these you got to buy or purchase separately. $10 for the tactical ring and what is it? $19 at least for the holster. So let's get this out of the way. And I'll show you the flashlight. Give me a second, guys. I'm having a problem. There you go. In the box, you get your owner's manual, spare O-rings, and a lanyard, which I don't use lanyards. You can use them if you want. You got the CR-123 magazine to put into your flashlight it does have a two ways you can power it you got your USB A to USB C recharging cable and of course the flashlight now you do got a red piece of plastic in your flashlight to Keep it from coming on accidentally while shipping. Whoop. Let's see if we can't read this. So, give me a second, guys. Let me bring up the. Uh, Off here that I need. There you go. So the the design. And the finish on it is excellent. I don't see any flaws on it in any way. On focus. I know there's some people that nitpicks about the design on the handle and the uh, cap itself, because the it doesn't match one shallower than the other, but I don't care. All right, it does have the next torch logo and the model number, the TA30C. In the front, you got a titanium bezel with nano ceramic beads for glass breaking or tactical purpose and self-defense otherwise and the head is housing a luminous SST40 LED the pocket clip is pretty decent this will not come off unless you unscrew your cap a little bit it is trapped inside underneath the cap so it will not fall off on you okay well, let me take this off show you the inside
The spring is gold plated. It is nicely done. So is the sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me for one minute. So there are the threads inside of there. If I could get the darn thing to focus. There we go. They're nicely done. Even on the flashlight body itself. And there is an O-ring right there where my thumb is. That's for your waterproofing and dustproofing. Okay. Inside of there is your next torch, 26 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 9.3 watt hour battery, 18650 lithium ion. And right down in there, let me grab some light so you can see, there is a metal contact plate down there, that's your positive side, in your head. What's nice is they even put your plus and negative right on the handle as well. So let me put this back together and I'll go through the modes. This does have a battery indicator too, as you see right there. The dark blue is 75 to 100 percent. The light blue is 75 to 50 percent. Where is it? The steady red is 50 to 25 percent, and your flashing red, or pale, oh no, not flashing red. I'm sorry, pale red, pale blue, and pale red. Now I'm on pale red. Pale red is 25 to 0%. That means you need to start charging it. Alright. So here's all the run time. The light outputs and run time and candela rate. You could stop and or you could stop the video and read it if you want. But I'll have it in the description box down below so you can read it for yourself. There's the other specs of it too. Alright. Excuse me. So you got your, whoops, I'm sorry guys, you got your low, 20 lumens, oh, I'm sorry, wrong one, low, 20 lumens, 50 hours, 24 meters, and 144 candelas, okay, why is my stuff getting so blurry here, there we go. Next mode is your medium that's 330 lumens at 4 hours and 30 minutes, 130 meters at 4,020 or 225 candela. Next mode is your high 1600 lumens, 2 hours and 30 minutes, 303 meters, which that's about a football field length, 2,952 candela. And you got your strobe. There's a strobe warning here, guys. At 1600 lumens. If you're sensitive to strobe, please look away. There's your strobe. It is a constant strobe. Now, the hot spot is a nice, tight, hot spot. 
with a little bit of bleeding, not bad, and you got a nice spill out to the side. Now these patterns, these bumps here are from the crenellated edge on the flashlight. Now you turn it to tactical mode. You could momentarily put it on 1600 or you could momentarily put it on strobe if you press all the way down. Okay, that's how that works. So that's it for the flashlight itself. So I'm gonna go on to the FR1 uh, tactical ring and the V31 sheath. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, there you go. So there it is, guys. Sorry about that everyone, my battery died. So but there's your holster er your holster. There's your tactical ring. Excuse me. I don't know what What's made of, I believe it's plastic with uh, fiberglass in it. I'm not too darn for sure, but I put a little stress test on this and it just will not budge. So to put this on, there's, remind, just remember there's O-rings on here, so don't get too excited to get it on here. You just take this either way you want to stick it on because they got the notch right there on either side. As you can tell, it has next torch on it too. Why? Is, oops. Why is everything going out of focus? There you go. Just take that notch, slide it down over your pocket clip, and take your cap and carefully screw it on. It could be a little pain in the butt but to get it started, but once you get it started, it's a breeze to get screwed on. Now, I think it's more comfortable with this on here, so you could just hold it like this. This could be another way to defend yourself as well, I believe. And you just reach back here, hit the button for momentary, or you just pop it in the strobe, fully press. You just run your flashlight normally as you would without it. Again, your pocket clip it will not come off because it's in under your tactical ring and your cap, it, I'm sorry, and your cap is sitting down inside the tactical ring so that will not come off. So they're both trapped on there till you unscrew your cap. Again, it is kind of a pain in the butt to get your cap started to get it screwed on. But again, I did try to do I did a stress test on this and it just will not budge as a nice feature to have especially if you have a phone Let's see here because whoops 
stick it on your hand like this. Let me grab my phone. And you could still use your phone with your right hand or left hand or whatever handed you are. You could still use your phone. Okay, with the flashlight on behind it. Then we got the next torch. Uh, holster. This is a quick draw holster is what they would call it. A tactical flashlight holster. It has some features I like about it. You could rotate it. You could... You know, put on molly back, mollies on like a backpack or something, and take it with you. And you could adjust it for different belt widths too. So let me get this out for you, and I could show you. What I'm talking about. Now this is made of the same material as the tactical ring. Look. Circle pack. Don't eat that. Now, this is what I was telling you about. This is your Molly webbing prongs here. You just slide that down your Molly webbing like so which I don't have any molly webbing here. Just slide this down your molly webbing and you just pull this down and lock it in place. And it, it will come off no matter how hard you try till you pull down your locking lever. All right. This right here is for adjusting to your belt size. Okay. Goes up to 55 meters. Or millimeters, excuse me. 55 millimeter belt. I don't know why I said meters. I must have got meters in my head. To rotate it, just pull up on your locking lever here, like that. And you just rotate this anywhere, any position you want. You could point it straight out like that so you could have it hands free. It's talking about hands free. You also could use this for a deep carry pocket clip as well. For And you turn it at a right angle to have it straighten out like, or straight horizontally. You could use it as a hands free device as well in your pocket. Now this holster, okay, this holster, you would have to use your tactical ring with it. If not, this flashlight would just go all the way through this holster. Okay, the tackle, tactical ring is what holds it on there. So, so push it down till you get to this big area right here you could turn it either way just turn it to lock it in and it's not going anywhere it's a pass-through holster so you again turn it the other way it's locked in there put in the middle like that you could quick draw the thing out of your holster just in case you whoops just in case you need it so that is a pretty nice holster for the price so let, let me go do some beam shots for you guys 
Uh, I'll meet you, er, meet you. I'll turn you back on here once I get outside. We go through the lumens. I mean, lumens. We go through the molds, plus I tell you what the lumens are once we get out there. Alright, so I'll see you when I get out there. Alright guys, I'm outside now. First I'm going to start out with the low mode 20 lumens. Right there's your 20 lumens. That darn light just kicked on. That probably just about the further it'll go is about the side of the building. Okay. I gotta see it hitting the tree, but I don't know if the camera can see it or not. I could see it with my bare eyes. So that's about all the further it'll go is just a couple feet away from you. Comfortably. Oops. Your medium mode, your 330 lumens. Now you could see the tree getting lit up there. I know it's snowing here, guys. It is getting the edge of the property here, down there by the creek. And you're high, 1600 lumens. It just lights up that tree. And I don't know if you guys can see it through the snow or not, but it is going beyond those trees across the creek. There's railroad tracks over there as well, so. And your handy strobe. Okay, so let me go on a tactical mode here. Momentary on, 1600 lumens. And momentary on strobe. That's your one step strobe feature. So let me go inside, give you my final thoughts on this, and wrap the video up. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time with this flashlight, the, mo the mode settings. Your low 20 lumens. Shut on the shed. Medium, 330 lumens. In your, whoops, wrong way. High, 1600. getting cold out here guys in your strobe on your ro magnetic ro rotary switch right there's and you got your momentary whoops momentary 1600 and momentary strobe and right there's your battery indicator just turn on and turn it back off you can see what color your blue is or what color red is so let me go inside give you my final thoughts about this flat this flash right here and wrap the video up so I'll see you guys inside all right everybody I'm back in now now my final thoughts about this flashlight is it is an excellent flashlight. I will recommend it to anyone who wants one. Uh, it is good for police. It's good for military or something. What, what something I do? Paranormal investigations. Okay. That's what. That's another thing. It'll be good for. 
But there's only one thing I wish they would actually do. Okay? Here's what I'm thinking. You got one, two, three, four, five molds. But instead of taking the, or have a strobe down here, because you got a strobe up here ready to use, why don't they put at least like an eight or 900 lumen turbo or uh or somewhere in between there uh because that'd be terrible right there you're high i would think that would put at least a uh nine or eight or nine hundred lumen uh setting on there just move your High 1600 lumens, move it over here and put something in between. Okay, but that's the only thing I have a problem with is having two strobes on a flashlight. That's what I would recommend just put something in between 16 and your 330 lumens. But other words, Oh, it's not really a problem, but it's something that they could probably change and make it a little bit better. I'm not complaining. I'm not nothing but, or, or anything. It'd be nice to have something in between. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but I would still highly recommend this flashlight to anyone. The throw is nice. On it. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. It has a nice tight hot spot. What I like. Now. This. Pattern here. It's just from your crenellations on your bezel. So it, it really doesn't bother me. Alright. So. Again. I want to say thank you. Next tor Next torch. For sending it to me to do a review on, try it out, try to promote your products for you. I uh, hope it does. If you'd like to send me another one to do a review on, please feel free to do so. Till next time, my name is Rick from Rick's Flashlight Review Zone. If you like this video, please give a big thumbs up for me. Leave a comment down below. Please leave your comments clean. No trolling, no hate comments or anything like that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And ring that notification bell. So, I'll catch all you folks later. Bye now.